Hi there, Mel Burgess here, and today I'm going to show how to use Google Drive and Google Docs to upload and convert a PDF file into text. Uh, there's a lot of uh, online software that you can use to do this. They don't all do a great job. Google Drive does a fair job of it, but it's free and you can do it as much as you like. You just need to have a Gmail or Google account to get started and sign in to Google Drive. So this is my Google Drive. I've already uploaded sort of three documents in increasing complexity. So a simple one, a fairly complicated one, and then one that's made up of columns. Um, and you'll see what happens as I work through this. So in this video, I'm just going to show the, the first one. How did I get my PDF files up here? And it shows that my uploads are complete here. I'll just close out of that and review that quickly here. You just right click in an empty space and you can either upload a file or you can upload a whole folder if they have a folder full of files you want to you know, bring up and back up on Google Drive. That's what Google Drive is about, backing up your stuff and creating new files. So if I click Upload Files, I get to go and look for files that I had. Um, if I kind of back myself up to where I found that one file, here it is. Here's the other kind of accompanying thing um, for applicants for grad material for our school. So I'm going to double click and you see it's going to upload. It does it really fast and if you're having trouble locating it, you can probably click here. It'll show it to you. But there it is right there. Another uh, simple style of document. <clears throat> okay. So if I want to open a PDF, I just double click on it. It opens it. I can read it, print it, share it, download it from this online resource to a different computer. Um, but if I want to be able to type on it, you'll notice if I open it again by double clicking and I'm clicking on the page here, I can't type anything. I'm pressing keys. Now it's doing something else. It thinks I want to load the next page. So if you want to be able to edit it, you're going to right click on it and open it with Google Docs. Uh, Google Docs is a free online um, platform to create documents. Kind of like a simplified version of Word. And it's pretty powerful. Okay, so I did a right click on it, open with Google Docs, here we go. So it's, it takes only a moment, it's taking my PDF and it's going to convert it into a Google document. And that will appear in Google Drive, I'll show you that when I'm done. So when, it, when it's finished, it basically takes your PDF and turns it into like a picture on page one, but if you scroll underneath, you'll see there it is again and as text on page two so you can kind of slide up and down and compare it. And you can see it didn't do a very good job of capturing these lines and these bullet points and these headings. It doesn't like a lot of that formatting so the more simple your document the better this will turn out. Um, but now I can, I can type and fix it up. So this is point number one. I'm not sure what TJ is there. I don't think it says that on the but I can just use my keyboard and I'm just pressing delete and getting rid of some things. That was point number two, that was point number three. It broke up this paragraph. You can see there's the word and here and then any, but I'll just click the cursor in front of any and hit backspace a couple times and, uh, and, and fix that up. Um, if I want to make the bullet points, I can use my Google Docs editing tool and put in bullets. There we go. If I want to center something, I can center it. I can even change the style to title style, which probably will be yeah, it's way too big, but you can make these changes uh, as you go through your document. Um, you create a little more separation here. If I want to change the font style, they've got millions of font styles. I just change it to Russo 1. Um, so, I, whoa, that's too big, size 24. I just wanted to stand out a little bit. And I like that style. They even have a format paintbrush. So if I want to repeat that style, it's Russo 1, size 14, and I want it there and there. I leave it highlighted. I can double click the paintbrush and then just drag over these small symbols and it will copy the formatting. Well, I missed one of them there. There we go. Just remember to turn the tool off or you'll accidentally, whoops. Uh, if you click on a word, it will do it. It's pretty ruthless. I'll turn it off and I'll undo my last move, put it back the way it was. 
and so on. So you can see you can use the editing tools to uh, in Google Docs to create your document. This doesn't make much sense to me. That was the original name of the file. I'm going to click there and rename it and call it uh, Scholarship Application Form. Uh, and click OK. Where does it go? There is no save button in Google Docs. You just watch. I'll just close this this whole tab and I'm going to get rid of that one too. And I will see that it took my PDF, that DOC001, and there it is. It's a scholarship application form. So by opening it as a Google Doc, Google Doc it's essentially created a copy. I'm going to double click and open it. Remember the first page was an image? Well, I can just click on it and press delete, and I'll press delete a couple more times. And there is my polished document that I could keep polishing if I want to make it look just like the other one. That's it. There's no save. All changes are saved in Drive automatically. Thanks for watching. There it is.